Good morning, treasurers. This is Pratish, co-founder of Night FinTech, and I welcome you all for this very special night snippets covering union budget. After yesterday's very special budget day, let's do the postmortem for FY22 union budget. Let me start highlighting big headline numbers, and then we drill down what it means for the Indian economy, and in turn for fixed income market and bond yields. Biggest headline for yesterday was fiscal deficit for FY21 pegged at 9.5%. All the analysts and economists were expecting this range to be in the range of six and a half to seven and a half. The government has decided that it will go till nine point five percent. Fiscal deficit for FY twenty two is pegged at six point eight percent, with a five year plan to bring the fiscal deficit back from nine point five percent in FY twenty one to four percent in FY twenty six. A very bold, welcome move. from policy makers now what does this high fiscal deficit number actually tell you key takeaway number 1 cleaning up the accounting smoke for a long time we used to see food subsidies funded by fci which is food corporation of india which used to be below the line of balance sheet item this time for a change and for a good change the government has included fci borrowings above the line coming clean full points to the policy makers for this honest move which instills the trust in the system which was questioned for a very long time key takeaway number 2 change in the mindset this union budget brought the biggest change in the policy stance from being over conservative in fiscal deficit to being aggressive going all in for growth at the cost of fiscal deficit again full points to the policy makers for this shift in stance key takeaway number 3 impact on india's rating We all have been worried about India's one notch above investment grade rating status, but this time, instead of shying away, India has decided to come clean with a clear and clear vision and a path for sustainable growth. India's capital expenditure is increasing year on year, which is a quality span and has a multiplier effect. Against all the analysts and economists who were predicting six and a half to seven and a half fiscal deficit numbers, government has decided with a nine point five percent move. we do not think rating agencies will take any adverse decisions in the short term and india's rating is safe with this budget and the possibility of a rating upgrade in few years if we are able to deliver what we have promised which is sustainable growth key takeaway number 4 for fy22 nominal gdp is estimated to be 14.4% just to remind you that is purely based on the base effect of a negative gdp in covid hit FY21 another point to infer here is given a very high 14.4% nominal gdp number in FY22 FY23 nominal gdp will look smaller key takeaway number 5 this investment target of rupees 1.75 lakh crore versus last year's estimation of rupees 2.1 lakh crore again we all know how miserable government's track record has been for this investment which is the need of an r Big ticket LIC Life Insurance Corporations IPO is to be concluded this year, but worries still remain. Given government's worst past track record, we still have our own doubts on this disinvestment success. But overall, an achievable target if government can execute well. Execution is the key here. Now, after these five key takeaways, which are very crucial for the bond market, let's try to assess the borrowing program and its impact on the bond market. government has increased its existing borrowing plan for remaining fy2021 and revised borrowing calendar is out government is borrowing additional rupees 80000 crore in the remaining 2 months in fy21 at the same time government has started their high borrowing program a decade ago where a large chunk of repayments will hit the market in the coming years which will keep the borrowings high for up- upcoming years so huge unstoppable bond supply will be there and there is no possibility to reduce this bond supply now let's look at the demand side given if the current credit scenario improves banks willingness to buy further gsec and sdls will be very much limited hence we need we need to look at non traditional demand avenues fpis are very small portion of the traditional buyers but they will be interested at 650 and above yields India's inclusion in the global bond indices can ensure a stable inflow for the upcoming years. We believe India's MPC scheduled from 3rd to 5th of February will throw some light on possible foreign bond issuances and current status on India's inclusion in the global bond indices. 
We expect India's 10-year GSEC to range from 6.25% to 6.50% for FY22. Now with Rs 12 lakh crore borrowing program for FY22, the ball is in RBI's court on how effectively it manages the yield before it goes out of control. Now it's time to celebrate this success. Many of our clients who had done the bank portfolio scenario analysis and had taken the risk off the table before this key event are happy treasurers today. Union budget, which posed a great event risk, which indeed materialized yesterday with 15 basis point downtrend in a single day. We at Night Research had ensured this event risk is minimized and does not ruin your portfolio. You all have witnessed it as we had been vocal about this risk for last one month. We have spoken about this event risk and possible ways to mitigate this risk in each of our daily snippets for the last one month consecutively. We will be covering the success stories and will share across of all of our clients. That's it for today for the special edition of Night Snippets. See you tomorrow with the regular podcast of Night Snippets.